What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Google Camera. Now I did make a video about how you can get the Google Camera APK file on any Android device. And I will leave the video link in the description down below. So go check that out if you haven't already. But I've experienced one main issue uh, based on my own experience. Now, a couple other people who have watched the video, they said they couldn't download it and things like that. But I experienced one issue and uh, there are other issues that I've seen, but I wanted to make an update video on that. Now, if I were to buy another Android device, I would still download the Google Camera APK. That is if I didn't buy the Google Pixel 3. And obviously I've been using this camera app for such a long time. It's been a month now, almost two months, and I'm thrilled with it. I'm happy with the results, especially night sight mode. Uh, and I literally stopped using the Samsung camera default app for taking normal photos. Like let's say if I'm in a rush, uh, then I'm going to just, you know, they'll press the home button and take a quick picture. But normally, most of the time, I'm not in a rush so I can, you know, pull out the Google camera app and take a nice photo. And I've been, I've been happy with it. And at first I had no problems with it, but then something happened. And it caused me to use my Samsung camera app, my default camera app. And that is uh, selfies. Now, when I use a front facing camera, uh, when I first started using it, especially, you know, I would use it with portrait mode. It worked phenomenal. It worked amazing. But then after a while I started using, when I was using the Google camera app for selfies or using it for the front facing camera, pictures started to come out really grainy and like the colors would be really washed out. And I would literally compare it to, you know, the same picture of like a selfie of me with the Google camera app and with the Samsung default app and Samsung would take a better picture. I don't know why it's experience. I'm, I don't know why this is happening. I'm um, experiencing something like this. Uh, grainy shots, uh, colors are really washed out. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the rear camera, but I've just stopped using selfie camera. And I was really happy why, because it had portrait mode. I can use a selfie portrait mode. Uh, unfortunately, Samsung doesn't have that on the Galaxy S8, but that's been my problem with it. Uh, obviously that's just my update with the app. Um, I'd still recommend this app hands down. And another, uh, problem that I've experienced, not personally me, but with the people around me is, um, they were using it and they were going really well. And then after, you know, a week or two, they started to experience a problem where they take a picture and it says it's processing in HDR plus, and then it just like vanishes out of nowhere like when you press the gallery when you press on the gallery of like the photo you took it doesn't show up and that's what happened at first and it happened for a while and i believe that we did um uninstall and reinstall and then we did uh reboot the phone and fortunately most of the photos that they took came back, it, it showed up in his gallery, in his album. But some of the photos that he took originally with it, didn't show up. And another, now another thing that came to mind is when I do take, uh, let's say portrait mode, it creates another album in your Samsung gallery app. For example, since I'm using the Galaxy S8, it creates a, Sam, a separate uh, album, which is weird. I don't know why it just doesn't save directly, it doesn't save directly to the, camera album so that's kind of weird and especially when I take portrait mode shots and I press on the icon to take me to like let me you know let me check my recent photo that I took it just takes me directly to Google Photos and it shows up with like all my photos and all my videos are saved on Google Photos and that's something I don't like why are you taking me directly to Google Photos I don't know why and since Google Photos sometimes like it's going to upload so it's going to be using your data that kind of sucks too. It doesn't take me directly to, you know, my album, my actual gallery app when I'm taking portrait shots. But those are the problems that I've seen and I've experienced myself. Would I still recommend it? Yes. The shots, 
that you will get the, you know, the pictures that you will take on the Google camera APK file that you download uh, with the link in the description down below. The, they're going to be awesome. Like they're going to be awesome hands down. Uh, now, some people said, you know, they couldn't download it and things like that. Uh, you're going to want to take a look at this. Make sure that your phone is, for example, uh, it's not Exynos processor. Some Exynos processors um, on Samsung phones, they don't support this for some reason. Uh, make sure, you know, you have the latest software, whether it's Android 8.0, Oreo or newer. You know, and some people ask me, you know, can I download it? And I ask them, you know, what's your Android version? They're like, oh, it's Android 7.0 Nougat. Or some, I did have a couple of people say it was Android 4.4 KitKat. I was like, what? you're like living from like four years ago, five years ago. What are you doing? Like you, you have no way of getting that. So uh, make sure that you're running at least Android 8.0 Oreo. And, and if you do watch the video that I made, uh, please be sure to follow the exact uh, steps. Uh, watch out uh, because there are two files. Uh, one is for Android 8.0 and later, one is for Android 8.1 and later. And at the very top of the website, it's going to have uh, specifically for Android 9.0 Pi. And if you have that, then go right ahead. If you don't, then you're going to have to scroll down and download the correct uh, file. So please pay attention to that. And this is my last thing to say. It's not guaranteed to work on all Android devices. You know, it works on my Galaxy S8, it works on my friend's Galaxy S8, it works on my friend's OnePlus, but it's not guaranteed to work on every Android device. It can work on any, not every. Question, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Download it, it's amazing. And once the Google Pixel 4 comes out, obviously there's going, someone's going to crack the code and bring out a new uh, camera APK file for that as well. So I will definitely, later on, towards the end of the year, make a video about that as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until the next video, this is MTG.